I'm Molly Chapman, business journalist for Slot Beats and Casino Beats, and today I'm joined by Mattress Mac from Gallery Furniture. How are you doing today? Hi, Molly. I'm great. How are you? I'm great. First of all, I want to check. Is your chair up to standard? My chair up is a little shaky, you know. Yeah. Maybe need a new one from Gallery Furniture. Maybe we do, yeah. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what it is that you do? Yeah, I'm with Gallery Furniture in Houston, Texas, and we sell furniture. We delight customers. I've had a, these stores in Houston and an internet site for 40 years, and we also do a lot of big time uh, sports promotions, sports gambling to enhance the customer's experience at Gallery Furniture. Right now, now we're doing a promotion that says the Astros win the World Series. You spend three thousand dollars better on a mattress, you get your money back, and we're gonna. So far, we've got about forty million dollar liability that we've covered through futures bets on that promotion. Wow! So known for your enormous betting strategies, right. <laughs> um, could you tell us a little bit about how this ties in with furniture? Well, it, it makes it more fun for the customers to come buy furniture knowing they have a chance to get their money back. So we, we've got so much competition from Amazon, Wayfair, brick and mortar retailers. We got to do something different. So I ask myself and our team members every day, would the customers miss us if we were to go out of business tomorrow? Having the fun of sports betting involved in their purchase where they might get their money back free, free, free makes us very relevant. I like it. <laughs> So you've talked about the economics and science behind your betting strategies. So could you walk us through that a little bit? Sure, you know, we, we do it, we buy a mattress $3,000 or better. And of course on the Astros, I got uh, 10 to one for them to win the World Series. So the Astros have to win the World Series because customer get their money back. So I bet uh, $4.2 million at 10 to one, $42 million return on the Astros, so it's it's marketing dollars and it keeps the customers excited. Not only are they excited when they buy it, but they're excited for three or four months going into the World Series. So it keeps us top of mind awareness a lot. So that's my strategy, delight the customers, hopefully give a lot of money back come this November. <laughs> yeah. How did you come up with the idea of tying in betting with your furniture store? Yeah, uh, I got the idea, you know, I used to play golf and they had hole in one contest. And I ha always wondered how they insured if somebody made a hole in one right. and you paid them $25,000. So I understood they were insuring it through insurance companies. And when legalized sports betting started to become more prevalent in the United States, I figured I could do the same thing and just uh, bet it off with the book legalized bookmakers yeah. so it was all uh, good for the customers. And that's how we did it. And the customers love it when they have a chance to get their money back. Free, 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 as I like to say. <laughs> and does it impact the sort of type of customers that, that you would Yeah, it brings attract? better quality customers, younger customers, and uh, especially in Houston because the Astros are very, very hot right now. Yeah. It makes us part and parcel of the community. So it really solidifies our brand as the brand that, uh, that takes care of the customers and cares about the great Houston Astro baseball team. Mac, I was wondering, if you were a mattress, what kind of mattress would you be? <laughs> if I lived in England, I'd be a vice spring. Right, got ya. But I live in the United States, so I'm definitely a Tempur-Pedic. Right. I love Tempur-Pedic, and uh, it, it wraps around your body, and we're huge believers in Tempur-Pedic, sell thousands of them, and we hope to give back millions upon millions of dollars in free Tempur-Pedic matches this November if the Astros win it all. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so, contributing funds to several scholarship programs and various local charities, could you tell us a little bit about these organizations and why you chose to give back to them? Uh, John Paul II said the essence of living is giving, so we've always been very involved in the community. And now at the store we have a trade school that's free for people who teach construction, welding, electrical, plumbing, uh, all sorts of skilled trades to people in our community for free. We have a high school for people 16 to 26 never finished high school, that's free. And we have a preschool for children aged six months to five years old, it's free. So we're very, we turn half the store into a community center so we can make a difference because we all have a responsibility for the well-being of the community. So running your company with an aim to fear from traditional furniture stores, could you walk us through how it is that you do this? Yeah, you know, we just think out of the box. We think different. We have fun selling furniture. Customers come in, we have candy, we've got ice cream, we've got popcorn, and most stores will never have that. They're afraid they're going to get it on the furniture. I don't care. Yeah. We're there to help the customers have fun, you know, and if the customers have a, <clears throat> have a good time, we're going to sell a lot of furniture. So 
we're focused on the customer's experience all day long, every day. And part of that's this sports gambling stuff that we do. Uh, part of it is the customer experience. Part of it is delivering the furniture the same day. We, the other night, the customer came in because of the promotion. At 10 o'clock at night, they bought $38,000 worth of furniture. Wow. We, have it, we had it delivered before midnight. Wow, that's crazy. That's some service right there. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> is there anything that, um, that you've done in the store that, that's one of your favorite things that, you, that you've done? You know, uh, during Hurricane Harvey, uh -huh. the whole town was flooded. So we opened up the furniture store to anybody who was uh, displaced out of their house. Yeah. We had about three or 400 people sleep at the furniture store three nights in a row. Wow. And that was uh, a, quite a scene and uh, it was very uh, touching to see how resilient those people were who had been through such a terrible tragedy. So yeah. that's something I'll always remember. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Do you think using betting as an advertising strategy could maybe start growing more in popularity? If they have the uh, the guts like I do to do it, right. it'll cost money and it's expensive and you got to work uh, work to pick the right team that has a good chance of winning but if you got the guts to do it it's a great strategy for you're exactly right it's advertising it's marketing that's what it is and how do you feel out of curiosity about how the media's depicted you i don't care i'm just i'm, I'm who i am i'm uh, i'm happy with myself and my customers when i go to the astros game yep. i take 500 pictures yep. it takes three hours for me to walk through the mezzanine <laughs> and those are my people i'm here for my people and i will be till the day i die that's the attitude i like it when you started making these big bets did you ever think sports betting in the u.s would grow so much to a point where you could be making these bets even while it's a sonic i saw the expansion of sports betting when uh uh, the man over here from Meadowlands got sports betting illegal through the Supreme Court. You know, uh, uh, Dennis. Dennis uh, carried all the water. And then I kind of jumped in because I knew the sports betting was going to take off across the country. And uh, I saw myself as the person who was able, ready, willing, and able to take advantage of this tremendous marketing opportunity. And that's what I'm still doing. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Nice thank to you. see you. Have a great day. Good stuff. If you want to take a big bet in your illegal U.S. sports book, call me. My number is 281-844-1963. Call me anytime. It's impossible to bother me.